Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on the last day of our challenge. Oh my gosh, it is day 20 of our New Year's challenge. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited and grateful that you're here. Um, if you just happened upon this video, we are on the very last day of a New Year's challenge. And if this is the first time you join me, that's great. Each class is a standalone. Um, but if you want to go back from the very beginning and work your way through, I'll put a link up there. Now for my friends that have been here the whole time, oh my goodness, I'm so proud. I am so truly thankful and grateful for you for arriving on your mat each day with me. And no matter if it took you exactly 20 days or if it took you three months to get your way here, I am so impressed with you. You did a wonderful, fabulous job. So. Thank yourself, no matter how much, how little you've done. Today's class is a cardio Pilates combo class. We'll start with just a little mini cardio section and then we'll do a lovely full body Pilates class, getting to our arms, getting to our abs, getting to our low body, and yeah, just working ourselves out so we can feel nice and strong and confident with each move we make. So roll out your mat, let's get started. Okay, friend, we will start standing upright, shoulders broad, fingertips down, head lifts high. Big inhale, big breath out. Dip your chin to your chest, bend your knees, slowly roll into an easy forward fold. Now pause at the base of your forward fold and decide. Do your legs feel good where they are? Would it feel nice to maybe heel toe them wider so you have a wider stance or more narrow? Oftentimes, if I open my legs a little bit wider, I can let my head fall a little closer and feel a little bit more of a stretch through my inner thighs. Now, sway your hips right and left. And nod the head a little yes and no. Shake it left and right. Push down into your feet. Pull the navel to spine. Roll yourself up. Shoulders down the back. Stand tall. Stand straight. Big, deep, full inhale. Again, exhale, chin to chest, bend the knees. Slowly roll yourself down. Let your fingertips dangle, dangle, dangle all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Push into your feet, cinch the waist, and then gently roll yourself all the way up to standing. One more time, chin to chest, bend the knees. Slowly roll yourself all the way down to the ground. Head is heavy. Pause here again. Little swivel of the hips little nod of the head. Take your time. Go ahead and find your center. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Walk your feet together. Go ahead and take your hands nice and wide. Reach your fingertips out and away. Press down in an imaginary, onto an imaginary table and think about hollowing your armpits. Take a big, deep, full inhale. Big breath out. And we're gonna do five marches. So pick up your right knee for five, four, three, two, one. Little sits for five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna face forward, you don't have to. This time, hands together, little prayer drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay low, push away, five, four, three, two, one, repeat. Starting with our marches, five, four, three, two, one, little sits for five, four, three, two, one, little prayer sits, five, four, three, two, one, stay low, push away, five, four, three, two, one, repeat, march, five, four, three, two, one, little sit for five, four, three, two, one little prayer sits five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, one little push for five, four, three, two, one again, lift five, four, three, two, one little sit back five, four, three, two, one face forward five, four, three, two, one stay low push five, four, three, two, one again, knees high, four, three, two, one, squeeze the inner thighs as you sit back, five, four, three, two, one, little sits for five, four, three, two, stay low, push, five, four, three, two, one, last set for five, four, three, two, one, little sits for five, four, three, two, one, little wide sits, five, four, three, two, one, stay low, push, five, four, three, two, one, let it go, stay with those feet nice and wide, take your hands up nice and high, squeeze your thigh, cinch your waist like your belt got tighter, lift your fingertips up high, 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 maybe your gaze goes with you, maybe stay facing forward, that's okay, take a big inhale, as you exhale, plie or bend the knees, push the hands off to the side, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another, rise high, reach the fingertips up, big inhale, exhale, sit back, Inhale, pull the inner thighs together, cinch the belly in, lift up and away. Exhale, push down, now pause. If it's too much to stay here in this kind of wide second plie, it's too much, just straighten the legs or come up a little higher, it's okay. Flip the palms up to the sky. Think about kissing the tips of your pinky, or I'm sorry, the tips of your shoulder blades together while you reach your fingers away from the body. Take a big inhale. Pull the hands towards one another. <sighs> Inhale, slide them open. Exhale, cinch the waist, pull the pinkies together. <sighs> Inhale, slide them open. Now, as you open and close the arms, as much as you can, keep them level with one another. We don't wanna drop our fingertips. We don't wanna bend our knee, uh, elbows. Well, we're definitely bending our knees. We're not bending our elbows. As you open and close though, envision you're holding something heavy. Activate the arms, pull the pinkies together and return. As much as we can, do not lose any of the rotation. Keep reaching your fingers further away. Give me two more. Exhale, pull them towards one another. Reach it out and away. Last one, pull them towards one another. Pause. Now we've been doing this before in the challenge already. Try and touch the pinkies. Lift your sternum, take a big inhale. Push the hands up as much as you can. Keep lifting your sternum to the sky. Shoulders down the back, navel to spine. Maybe sit a little deeper. I'm gonna turn ever so slightly to the side just so you can see me better. You can stay still. Take a big inhale. Pulse the heels of your hands up. <sighs> Inhale, drop down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, drop down. Exhale, up. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Three more up and down. Two more up and down. Last one up, pause, hold right there. Belly button in, sit a little deeper, take a big inhale. Now, quick pulses of the heels of our hands up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, smile, last time you got this, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, relax. Excellent job. We're going to come down to a little tabletop. Now you of course know you do not have to stay in tabletop if it does not work for our body. We can be on forearms. We can use our lovely little blocks that kind of help push our um, wrist in a more gentle setting. It's totally up to you. No matter though where you are, broaden across the chest. Envision a hand underneath your stomach just helping to guide those tummy muscles up and in. We just don't want to let our back arch. We want to keep our spine long, our tummy nice and engaged. From here, can you extend your right foot away from your body? Before we go anywhere, squeeze your thud. Send your toe further away. Reach your head away. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Five times, tap your foot to the floor. Squeeze your thud as you lift. Tap your foot to the floor. Exhale, squeeze your thud as you lift. As we go up and down, notice, are you beginning to kind of press down more into your wrist? Does it feel like you're kind of leaning into the mat? Instead, think of your hands being glued or suction cup to the mat and you're constantly lifting up and away. Last one up and pause. Tone your tummy, grow long from head to the body out the toe. Teeny tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Flex your foot. Bend your knee. Did you arch your back? If it is too much to keep our knee lifted and we arch our back, you can drop the knee lower so you can keep the, long, uh, the back long. I would much rather see that. No matter where you are though, squeeze your thut so hard you could keep, keep a pencil there. Almost pull your right knee towards the left side of your body. It's easy to kind of let it wing off to the side. We want to keep it nice and parallel here. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, without arching your back, exhale, push your heel up. Inhale, drop it down. Now, this is a teeny tiny movement. It's not about, you know, taking your knee as big of a range of motion as you possibly can. Instead, I am just pushing it up so high that I really feel my glutes and hamstrings kick on. I'm only dropping it so low that I relax just the teeniest, tiniest bit. I use an exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Two more. Last one. Lift, pause. Take a great big breath and relax the leg. Give yourself a little wiggle, little sway. Any movement that feels good to you is open. And then when we feel ready, opposite foot away. Broaden across the chest. Grow long from the tip of your head through your body out your toe. And then tap your foot down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap the foot down. Exhale, lift. The entire time we lift and lower the leg, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say, but imagine there's peanut butter all around you. It would be challenging to move through peanut butter and keep growing as long as you can from your left hip through the leg out the toe. This next time, lift the leg up, pause. Take a moment, it feels so strong in your body. You've gotten so much stronger in the past four weeks and I'm so proud of you. Time for our tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Flex, bend. Again, notice, are we arching our back? I hope not. Navel to spine. Lift up and away from the wrist. Take a moment. Almost pull your left knee towards the right side of your body, keeping the leg parallel. Take a big inhale. Exhale, push your heel up. Drop it down. Exhale, push your heel up. Drop it down. Each time I push my heel to the sky, I squeeze my thought harder. Not only am I holding a pencil between my glute and my hamstring, I'm thinking about breaking it. That is how hard my glutes and hamstrings are working right now. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Last one, lift, pause. Take a great big breath. And 
and then let it go. Go ahead, open your knees a little wider, push your hips back, find a nice big child's pose. If your hands are a little tired, I always like to tent my fingertips, getting a little stretch across the back of my wrists. Rise on up, bring your feet out in front of you. And from here, our Pilates C curve is coming into play. Touch your big toes together. If your knees don't touch all the way, if there's a little bit of space there, it's okay. But I do want you to activate your inner thighs, almost like you're trying to guide them towards one another. Hug the back sides of your legs, sit taller, sit straighter, put a smile on your face. You know you love our Pilates C curve. Take a big inhale and then lightly lean back. Now, I know some of my friends have recently discovered the beauty of our little stability ball. If you have a stability ball and you want to use it, go grab it. You can pause the video and come back and that's fine. I love my little stability ball in my Pilates C curve. If we don't have one, like I don't right now, I want you to think about your sacrum, that big boning plate at the base of your spine, reaching towards the ground behind you while your head, your chest, your shoulders stay lifted. So I'm just pushing off my sitting bones more, turning on those tummy muscles. They are wrapping in, especially my obliques. They're really helping to hold me in place. Now hands can stay beneath us and we can just concentrate on turning on our tummy or we can reach them out and away. You could always do one hand at a time. That's okay too. Slide your fingertips further away. Take an inhale, reach them out to a great big T. Exhale, cinch the waist, activating your obliques a little bit more as you close. Inhale, slide them open. Exhale, close. Inhale, reach it open. Exhale, close. Two more, open. Exhale, close. Last one. Reach the hands forward, pause. Now send the fingertips further away, cinch the waist a little bit. Reach, reach, reach those fingers as your sacrum goes behind you. This time, palms facing away as you lift up. And then I want you to open out to a T right here. Exhale, cinch the waist, pull them overhead. Now if it feels too much to have the hands almost directly over your head, you could be more in a little V and kind of make a dome sort of shape. That's an absolutely fine way to do this because this is intense. This is big to keep our hands out in a T, constantly reaching side to side. You're doing amazing though. Inhale, open. Exhale, cinch and close. Last one, open. Exhale, close. Take your hands in front of you. Roll yourself up to a seat. Find your easy seat. Lift tall, straight. Guide your fingers up to the rafters. Take a big inhale. Big side stretch over to the right. Drop the right hand, lengthen the left. Now stack the shoulders. Keep your chest nice and open and lifted. Press your left hip into the ground. Flip your hand, cactus your arm. Press elbow and hand back and point your nose to the sky. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Look forward, straighten and then gently round into an easy seated forward fold. Come on up. Same thing other side, both hands lift high. Flip the palm, big stretch over to the other side. Again, it's easy to kind of cave and curl in, but we want to keep our chest nice and open. A lovely proud chest, as I say. Flip the palm, cactus the arm, push elbow and hand back, point your nose to the sky, big deep inhale. Big breath out, look forward, and then round, roll forward, find that easy seated forward fold, roll yourself up to a seat. Go ahead and lie down on the ground behind you. Plant your hands onto the mat, shoulders down the back, chest again, open, proud, confident. Feel your low back touch the mat, immediately rise up to the top of your bridge pose and pause. Now, hold here for a moment. Think about your belt. It got one notch tighter. Squeeze your thud. Our hips raised a centimeter higher. Shoulders down the back, nose high. Big, full breath in. Big sigh out. We will roll halfway down, all the way up. 
pay special mind to your knees. I don't want them to knock together or to splay apart, but instead pressing actively through the whole of both feet. Inhale, roll halfway down so our upper back touches. Exhale, squeeze your thut, lift all the way up. Inhale, roll halfway down. Exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale, down. Exhale, cinch the waist lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, cinch the waist lift. Three more. And up. Two more. And up. Last one down. Lift up, pause. Hold there for a moment, shoulders down the back, nose high. Drop your right hip lower than your left. Roll from the sternum first, right hip will hit, left hip will follow. Come on back up the center. Cinch the waist, shoulders down the back. Lower your left hip. Roll all the way down. Come on back to center. Last time, up, straight center, and pause. Cinch the waist, squeeze your thut, lift your pubic bone up just a hint higher, take one more big inhale. Roll all the way down to the ground. Now, lift up your right leg, give your foot a flex. Take your right hand to your right thigh. Make sure we're still imprinting our spine. If it's too much to lift up both legs, we can do one at a time. If we have the ability to pick up both legs and press both feet into, or I'm sorry, both hands into our legs, then we're gonna do that. No matter where you are though, cinch your waist, envision a great big heavy object sitting on your tummy, encourage those, encouraging those muscles to grow inward. And then from here, inhale, straighten your right leg, exhale, pull it in. Straighten your left leg, Pull it in. Again, if you're just doing one leg at a time, that's fine. We're gonna do about five on each side. So you could keep your left leg on the ground and straighten and bend your right leg five times and then do the left. Now, you might notice and even see that as I pull my knee in, there's almost like a stop. And that's what I want us to feel. Our hand is like a wall that our knee is driving into. <sighs> Inhale, I reach away. Exhale, cinch your waist, pull the leg back. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, tone the tummy, pull it back. Two more to each side. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last on the left. Bring it back, pause. Set the feet down, roll the shoulders into the mat a little bit more if they have lifted. Take your hands overhead, big stretch from the tip of your hips or your side body out your fingers. Take your hands behind your head, elbows stay nice and wide. And then from here, imprint the spine, big breath, curl head and chest up. I want you to pretend there's a little string attached to your sternum right here. It's not that we're jetting our chin forward, we're looking over the horizon of our knees and that string is being pulled over the knees as well. All we're gonna do are teeny tiny little lifts. You'll take a big inhale, exhale lift up half an inch, inhale drop half an inch, exhale tiny lift, inhale tiny lower, exhale tiny lift, Inhale, tiny lower. If you feel those earthquake shakes, and I feel them too, you're doing fabulous. I'm so impressed. Exhale up, inhale down. Last one up, pause. Can you reach your right hand away? Cinch the waist, press down into your heels. Press your low back down, reach long through your left hand too. If it's too much, take one or both hands behind you, it's okay. Reach the fingertips past the heels. Flip the palms. Inhale, slide your hands wide. Exhale, trim the waist, pull it back. Inhale, slide the hands wide. Exhale, cinch the belly, pull it back. Three more, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last one, open, close, pause. Flip the palms, lift them over the kneecaps. Again, big inhale, exhale, tiny lift, tiny lower. Tiny lift, tiny lower, stomp into your heels. Feel those big, deep tummy muscles working hard. It's not a great big crunch or curl up. It's just a tiny activation, a tiny release. Last one, tiny lift, pause. Take one more big breath. Let everything go. Take your hands over your head. Stretch your feet away from you. Find a big, full body stretch. 
pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock and roll up to a seat. We're gonna lie on our tummy. Once we arrive on the uh, stomach, take your elbows wide and push away from the mat. Now, if this feels too much in our neck and our chest to be lifted like I am, you can of course let your hands come to your, um, to your head, come to your hands. So you have like a little pillow there and you can relax the neck more. If you're upright like me, I want you to look at the front edge of your mat and push away evenly with both palms and both elbows. Now, I'm sure you know what I'm about to say, but drive your pubic bone into the mat and squeeze your thigh. Lift out of your shoulders a little bit, like someone is holding your ears and pulling your ears away so our neck becomes as long as we can. Take a big, deep inhale. Push more into your left foot. Exhale, lift up your right. Hold there for a moment. Did the weight in the hips shift? I hope they stayed even, but if so, pubic bone down more, belly button in more, Take a big inhale, exhale, lift the heel, inhale, little drop. Exhale, lift the heel, inhale, little drop. Three more, little lift, little lower. Two more, little lift, little lower. Last time, little lift, pause. Take a great big breath, pulse the heel up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Cinch the waist, lift the belly button up, pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Reach the leg so far away. Keep it active. Actively push it down into the ground. Immediately pick up the left. Did the weight move in your hips? Does it feel like it shifted to one side? Can we pull the navel in? Can you reach your foot further away? Big inhale, little lift little lower, little lift, little lower. Exhale up, inhale down. Cinch the waist, lift and relax. Is there tension in your neck or your face? Can you smile? Can you just know you're doing good things for your body no matter how much, how little you've done in class today, throughout the challenge? I am so proud of you. Thanks for you know joining me for the entire little series. Now lift, pause, belly button in. Take a big inhale, tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Press into the right foot, scoop the tummy, and then again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Bend the knees, windshield wiper side to side. Go ahead and relax the legs. Take your right hand away from you and let your shoulder hit the mat. Now all I'm gonna do is bend my left leg and take a great big twist. If your foot doesn't actually flop onto the floor like mine, it's okay. If you have the range of motion, you wanna to try to lift your left hand away, that's awesome. Maybe you send it back behind you. Maybe you kind of circle it around. Eventually, roll onto your tummy. Slide your left hand out. I'm gonna move my mic so I do not crush it. <laughs> but we'll bend our right foot and take our great big stretch over. Lift your hand up high again. Little stretch back. Little reach of the hand up overhead. Great big full inhale, big breath out. Roll to your tummy once more. Push yourself into a child's pose. Crawl your fingertips further away. Let your head melt into the mat. Take a big deep inhale. Easy breath out. Another nice big inhale. Great big breath out. Go ahead and come on up to a nice, gentle seat. Pause for a moment, sit taller, sit straighter. Lift the ears up, take a big inhale, swim your hands high. 
Clasp the hands behind your head, push the elbows nice and wide. Big inhale, exhale, twist right. Inhale, look center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, look center. Let it go. And now give yourself an extra great, big, beautiful pat on the back. Really, truly thank yourself. No matter if you did every single video with me in this challenge, or you've skipped around, or you've returned to this class because it was one you just enjoyed, know that I am not only so proud of you, but I'm just so thankful that you are here. Thank you for being my student, and really thank yourself more than anything else for arriving on your mat, for continuously trying to grow a little stronger, a little more flexible, and of course, loving our body a little bit more with each class we take. Thanks so much for joining me. I cannot wait to see you again.